This is a supplementary video to a video that we previously posted demonstrating how to install and configure Audio Station onto a Synology NAS. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to add music files to Audio Station's music library. We will then see if we can play that music track from within the web browser of our computer. Please note that currently, Audio Station and our NAS have not been configured for access via the internet, which means that our instance of Audio Station is only accessible to users connected to our home network. When you add a music track to Audio Station's library, you need to ensure that the track you are adding does not contain digital rights management. Music ripped from CD, and most music tracks purchased from iTunes and Amazon will not contain DRM, so should be OK to use. The process for adding tracks to Audio Station's library is very straightforward. From our computer, if we log into our home network using an account with access privileges to our music share, we can add music tracks to Audio Station's library by simply dragging and dropping our music tracks into the music share. The music tracks stored in the music share will now automatically be added to Audio Station's music library. If we open our web browser and then from the address bar type the IP address of our NAS, followed by a forward slash and the word audio, when we press enter on the keyboard, Audio Station will load. Let's log into Audio Station using the login credentials for one of our home users. As you can see, Audio Station is divided into three main areas. First, we have an area which displays either the home screen or the music tracks in our Audio Station library. On the left side of Audio Station, we have a sidebar, which allows us to quickly either find a music track or use a filter to help us find a specific song. At the bottom of the Audio Station window, we have the playback controls for Audio Station. As we are using the Safari browser in macOS, before we try and playback any songs in Audio Station's library, we first need to change a setting that stops music embedded in a web page from auto-playing. So from the Safari menu bar, we first need to select Safari from the drop-down menu, and then choose Settings for this website. From within when visiting this website, we need to change the auto play setting to allow all auto play. When we click away from this panel, the auto play setting will be saved. At the time of posting this video, Safari is the only web browser that has a feature that prevents the automatic playback of music in Audio Station. However, if you find that you're unable to playback audio files through your chosen browser, check that the browser doesn't have a similar feature to that of Safari. Now from within Audio Station, let's see if we can find the audio track that we saved to the music share on our network. If from the sidebar, we use the search field to enter the name of an artist, when we press enter on the keyboard, the results from the search are displayed within the main area of Audio Station. You can see that the results from our search have found the artist and displayed the album art from the track that we have in our library. If we double click on the artist, we are presented with the search results for that artist. You can see listed that we have two options. The first is all music in our library by the artist Grimes. The second is all the music by Grimes, which is part of the album Art Angels. Let's double click on Art Angels and see which tracks we have for this album. As our Audio Station library only contains one song, only that song is listed. However, Audio Station does display the metadata embedded within the track. In order to play back the track, Normally, we would need to use the mouse pointer to first highlight which track we wish to play. However, as our whole library only contains one track, by selecting the play button, that track will play. 
Unfortunately, for copyright reasons, we cannot broadcast the playback of this track. However, you can see that Audio Station is playing this track because the album art and the details for the track are being displayed here. Let's pause the playback of this track and take a look at the sidebar. Within the sidebar, we have an option that will return us to the home page. The home page can be used to create personal shortcuts to the types of music that we like to listen to. All music will list the entire contents of the audio station library, while by folder will list your music library by folders if you have used folders to keep the music in your network share organized. We also have options to sort by album, artist, composer, and genre. In the control panel, we have an option to show the songs that have been queued for playback. Lyrics will display the lyrics to the song that is being played. However, in order to enable this feature, you have to add a plugin into Audio Station. Next, we have volume control, which is fairly self-explanatory. This icon will automatically repeat the song being played by Audio Station, while Shuffle, if enabled, will randomly select and play any songs that have been placed in queue. You can see that Equalizer is greyed out. In order to use Equalizer, you need to plug a USB speaker into your Synology NAS. The final icon at the end of the control panel allows you to select a device to use to stream music to. For example, if you have an Apple TV, this icon will allow Audio Station to stream music to your television via the Apple TV. As Audio Station is a web-based application, once we finish using Audio Station, we simply need to log out.